Hello and welcome back to the channel. So in the previous lecture we have seen all about the theoretical part of Apache Flink where we have discovered what is Flink, why it is used and its basic architectural components. So enough talking, let's practice Flink on our SDP sandbox. So without further ado, let's get into it. So as you can see, I have already boot up our SDP sandbox to save some time. So Unfortunately, Flink doesn't come pre-installed with our HTTP sandbox installation. So we need to go to their official website and get the tar file and then we can extract it and use it directly. And there is a very little configuration needs to be done. So it's not of a hassle. So let's do that now. Okay, so just go to your favorite browser and go to fling.apache.org and hit enter. So as you can see, here is the home page for Flink. So you just have to go to downloads. And you can download any version. It doesn't matter because anyways, we are not going to use it on Yarn or any other resource manager. So it will be standalone. So there will be not issue of version which we are using. So here we have the Apache Fling 1.16.0. So just go to that. And here is the link for our tar file. So just give the right click and copy the link address here. Okay, so once we got that, just go to your putty terminal and log in as Murray underscore dev. Okay, so I already know the command. So just give like wget and right click to paste that and hit enter. Okay, so we got into a certificate issue. So we just have to pass one argument as given here, which is no check certificate. So just copy the previously copied command and give like dash dash no dash check dash certificate that's it hit enter yeah so it is downloading the file so once it is download we need to extract that file so let it run so just grab your coffee and come back after some time okay so our download has been completed so if you give ls we have the file for the flink for a specific version so all you have to do is just unzip this file so the command is tar space xvf and the file name so just give the file name so this will be different as per the version that you have downloaded so just copy it and give enter okay so it is just extracting it into your home okay it's done so if you give this we'll be having a directory so which is particular to a specific version of the fling which you have downloaded so we have fling 1.16.0 which is the version so just you have to go into that to check what it's there inside so as you can see we have the bin directory con flip and also we have the examples so we will be using that example code only because we just need to have an understanding around flink so we will not be typing any code here and we'll use their provided code for checking the word count of the data which will be publishing through the telnet port we are good to start our service so just we'll go into the bin directory now to kick off our service so here we need to use the start cluster.sh file so to kick it off it's very simple so all you have to do is dot slash start dash cluster.sh that's it hit enter so as you can see it has kick off our fling service so i'll just clear the clutter so the first step you need to do is you have to start the netcat service so that we can publish some data through it to some specific port so in this case we need to use the 9000 port as our example job will listen to that port so the first step would be just give like nc-l and give 9000 okay so it is running now so you have to go and start your next terminal okay so just start your next terminal and log in as maria underscore dev and also as a root user to get you all the privileges okay so once you're done you have to again go to your fling directory so just go to fling cd and that's it you have to just kick off your job now so that job is in the examples folder so now let's see how that job is doing actually okay so to kick off that job you have to kick off the fling service so just give like dot slash bin slash fling and you have to give run and you have to pass the path of that file so that job lies in the examples 
slash streaming slash the job name is socket window count dot jar so all this job is doing is just listening to our telnet port for every five second of interval and whatever the data we post it is just counting the words of that and giving us the aggregated result on the basis of five second window that's all that is doing so just give the port and again as we have given the port is 9000 we'll give it as 9000 so it is just kicking off the job so there you go your job has been submitted and you can see the job id as well and in here so in one window you have the netcat running and in the other window you have that job running so you have to publish the data through this telnet and also watch for the logs output here so let's start the third terminal to get to the result of this job so just again open the next one again login as maria underscore dev and login as root user as well so because why not okay so you have to go again to your directory and here you will be having the logs folder so you have to go to the log again so just go to log as you can see there are so many logs present but first you have to push some data through it so we'll put like we are learning flink again we'll give like flink again two to three times then v then r okay so we have pushed some data to the telnet of 9000 port and here in this window let's give ls ltr and see the latest file so here we'll just give like cat and the file name and as you can see we got our result so here you can see the v is published one time flink publishes one time and also we can see flink so here it is just counting all the words of whatever you have given from the telnet port so this was really fun so let's push the data again so again we'll push some data so we'll give like a dupe in three times and see how it goes so we'll again give like ls ltr and see this file and as you can see you got the hadoop three times so as we have given the hadoop three times on the particular line it will aggregate that on the basis of the five second window so that's what it does so i hope you got the idea how it is aggregating all the words binding it to one and reduce it by key so that we'll get this result so it's a pretty straightforward example so if you want to learn more just explore and practice flink on your sdp sandbox and if you have any issues let me know in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible so once everything is done you can just shut down it and in bin you can find the script for shutting down the cluster so here as you can see we have the command as stop cluster.sh so give that dot slash and that's it your cluster has been stopped so you can just close the terminal now and then you can just simply go to machine and give scp a shutdown if you have done with your work so if you like this lecture please subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates and don't forget to follow us on our social media which I have linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.